Hey everybody, Vice here, and welcome to Let's Play Puzzle Agent 2. Time for more puzzles and more questions about things here. Um, I am going to delete this. Uh, yes. And... Delete mode. Hope that doesn't cause any issues. Okay, let's get started. What Nelson Tethers is up to. Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Viewing his tapes from the first game. Thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw. Now you're seeing something else, apparently. Hmm. Nelson, see the unique details of the moon. Rotate the rings and scope until each ring is locked in place and each column of symbols contain no duplicate. I think this goes all the way over here, and then this is around here, and this is also around here. So I think this is almost already done. I think this goes here. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, they're all different. I think. Seemed like it, because it won't let me rotate anymore. So yeah. The one thing I always remember about that puzzle is that the most out of one is at the top right somewhere right there. So that's how I remember how to do that puzzle all the time. Question is, can I remember any of the other puzzles for that matter? Eraser factory is back open, even though foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. Oh, Ingram. Ingram, someone new. Oh, hi, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. Find Dorado. Define will where's Walder? Walder? Walder. That's that's the word I was looking for. No. Where's Waldo? Walder. That was weird. That was a weird slur error. Vegetable crimes. How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. We tubers? haven't had a real case since the Tarot murders back in seventy six. What I wouldn't give Hi? is some field action like you did. <laughs> I puzzle don't know division. what kind of vegetable wow. that would be. Jim, puzzle division isn't that exciting. Come on, Nelson. You were out of the office a whole week. Huh. Are you looking through the Scoggins file? So the first game I only sure lasted am. about a week. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, cracked that case wide open. Speaking so, of puzzles. What are you doing in my office? Check it out. I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Yeah, how about that? Can you solve this four dragon puzzle designed by master puzzle Haiju? Osaki, what is the next number this of the sequence? Really? It's three. Come on now. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Time. Yeah, that one's easy. <laughs> I'm not going to click how on that one either. Nice try, Jim, but you see here. 
Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry. But you almost said you solved it. If you like puzzles, I think you could you do that. You a solved it. Favor. So I'm going to be taking some time. What do you mean you didn't see it if you still got solved all these it? Tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through Vegetable Crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed. But I can't leave it like this. Yep, the that's about right. Is still missing. And there has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time. And I won't be able to relax until I've found Isaac Dowder and gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. And we're back to Skyrim, Minnesota, like he said, to figure out what's going on with Isaac Davner. He just basically got taken away by the Force Gnomes, and that was the last we ever saw of him. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. Hmm. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. <laughs> he wants nothing to do with us now for sure again, because, yeah. Into Valda's Inn and get a fresh Never liked us after we've been morning. here before. He does want us to know that we know that he's around. I even said that, right? I'm not going to bother picking up gum since I can't use it for the perfect score in this game. Hence, from the perfect score right away. Oh my, Mr. Agent Tethers. He was fine. Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. <laughs> Doesn't want to go through that again. Speaking of gnomes, once in the window, we're gone. I kind of miss the wooden gnome collection, Miss Garrett. Made the whole place seem creepier. <laughs> See how she's doing. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. Here. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Why is she worried? Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Who? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. What? Hmm. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Ooh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. That's also yeah. very that's also very suspicious. He always wants to make the hot dish. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Yep. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Okay, why is she worried about us? She was nice to us the whole time, and she had no problems with us before. Uh, gum. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Yes, but I'm not um, picking it up. Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. 
thought gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for it. Well, you will, I won't. And yeah, they act like gum is some sort of drug. <laughs> Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh no, oh dear. Oh, this is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Really? Oh, yeah. Lots of, you know, tourists. Here I don't believe you. And, uh, Here for the racers. snow. Look, and erasers. You can see here for yourself. Martha claims she has books on all, booked all the rooms in the end. Can you figure out room assignments that will set aside everyone's request and spare room for Nelson to stay in? Mixed class for stay season the floor above. Miss Laru, Miss Dimbleton will not stay on the floor with more men than women. And Mr. Bilson and Mr. Carlson always get rooms on the same floor. Well, if that's two men on the same floor, she can't be on the same floor. And if Mr. Maxwell is above Mrs., that means these two Mrs. are there, and he's on the top floor, so all three of them have to be on the top floor. Which means I'd have to be on the bottom floor with Miss and Miss over there, so... I would be there. Who is above? Above. This is there. So Maxwell's is above. Above. You can only be in the floor with less and more women, so there's going to be there. Kyle and Beth are together? Let's flip those around to make sure. And that should be it. Easy. I'll click the hell on that one just for the heck of it. Next request on the floor above Ms. Lerup and the rest of the guests in place. The gym requests for far more than men on the floor to be on the same floor as for the lower floor. Uh, Best want to stay on the same floor. The top floor is one floor, two bedrooms left. And Nelson fills in the last remaining room. Yep. It looks like there's a room available. Well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Ah, that room is being, uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Ghosts? Hmm. No, not ghosts. Uh, the, the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh, heavens no. Of course it's not bed bugs. It's, uh, uh painters. The room's being fumigated for painters? Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Huh. Well, she doesn't... There's one there, apparently. Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled. And unwelcome. Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide something. Just heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. I'm going to investigate. Oh boy, what's behind here? Doesn't seem to be anything. Yep. E. Nelson, this is how it feels to chew fight oh, gum. It's just the door. <laughs> uh, that just popped in my head. Oh. She's letting us in. She wants to give us a room to stay, but she doesn't want us anyone else anyone else to know that we're actually here. Okay. So she is helping us. 
But yeah, the whole what it feels like chew five gum the noises in the alley joke just popped in my head there at that moment, so all those whispers. This is how it feels with chew five gum. Well, according to the people around here, concerned the fact that they think gum is a drug, apparently. They're trying to just ban all gum. I can only I'm only not using the gum because I because I can't use it for hundred percent completion. I wonder if I could sneak this painting out in my carry-on luggage. Mm, no. Hmm. For a second, I thought I saw someone on the street below. Probably just my imagination. Okay, yeah, there's an extra puzzle here. Ah, a hidden people lamp to stare at me all night while I sleep. Comforting. <laughs> I hope you say the thing of the hidden people by arranging these photos in order. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. Easy. Show the how on that one anyway. Yep, the marks left in the snow. First, first shows one hidden person. Second adds two set of footprints. Third and fourth show notes in the snowmobile made in the conclusion. Easy to make. Well, that takes care of that one. And we'll finally go into the bed. It's clear now that the mysteries of Scoggins go deeper than the incident at the eraser factory. And I'm convinced I made the right choice to come back. Assuming, of course, I make it through the night. You'll be fine. Hopefully. That was quick. Notice that the gum behind me I haven't picked up is also green. Then after he wakes up here, it's blue again. So everything that was blue basically became green, except the bed. Don't know if that's actually intended or not, but that's what happened. And it was a half real dream. Isaac Davner huh? does not exist. That doesn't make any sense. Ever see your messages of the? Placing the name of Scoggins missing residents in order they disappeared, starting from the first go missing. If the only one we know is Isaac Davner, so we'd have to assume it's the first one, but we don't. Daryl? Uh oh. We know Daryl from the first game. Uh oh. It's no good. Someone knows I'm in town because I've just received a note. Isaac Davner does not exist. I won't have any idea what that means until I've gotten enough information to solve the puzzle on the other side. My first priority tomorrow is to take this note into town and find out what these names have in common. Yeah, we can't solve that puzzle right now. Nope. Random NPC to have the world be more built and actually feel somewhat realistic. Stupid flyers. Uh, crash of a black moon. Huh? Um, excuse me. Daryl, was it? Hang on, I'm bit. Hey, you're that FBI guy. Special Agent Tethers, Puzzle Research Division. Yeah, well, I've got a missing person case for you guys to solve. The factory foreman? That's old news. I'm talking about my brother, Daryl. Yep, we saw that on the paper, being one of the names on the list. Could you tell me more about your brother's disappearance? We were out past Sassamy Woods a couple of days ago. 
Daryl split off on his own because he said we were in Barrel Oak country. Barrel Oak? Oh, they're real. Don't doubt it. A and he was scared of them. Scared? Nah, he went hunting for them. Haven't seen them since. Huh. Is there anything else you can tell me about Daryl? He's allergic to walnuts. What do you want to know? Not much to it, Mr. FBI. He went missing out past Sesame Woods, and somebody needs to go look for him. Hmm. Just random disappearing. Okay. Have you seen or heard from Isaac Davner since I left? Who? The foreman of the Eraser Factory. He went missing after the factory shut down. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah, figures. People here go missing all the time. That's worrying. Do you know anything about the hidden people? Great. My brother goes missing, and the FBI comes to ask me about forest gnomes. You don't believe in them? You should have come here earlier, when I was four years old, and listened to bedtime stories. Yeah, people still do not believe about the hidden people besides us, because we've literally saw them. Where have you been putting up those flyers? I've been getting permission first. It's legal. Need any help? Sure. Federal tax dollars should work. <laughs> Daryl, Daryl is passing out fly, flyers in the near. Yeah, it's Daryl and Daryl. Different spelling names. Where the flyer band is at large and seal name. Figure out where to place the stack to ensure 50 flyers reach each end of the paths. Each person will pick up one paper. The floor on the road half will be taken. The path band will steal the flyers from anyone who passes by, and the band is at one of the three locations marked with the question mark, but nobody knows which one. In that case, just make all of these three, all the question marks the same, and no matter which one he's in that he takes, then it'll always end up being 50. So that's the key. Just make them. All right. That's almost, almost. I think it's like 12, I think. Oh, it's 12. Yeah, it's, wait. Yeah, it is 12. Because this would equal 26, and this would equal 20, and then two of in these 12 equals 24, so 26 and 24 equals 50, and no matter which one he takes, it'll always be 50. Submit. Correct. And the house probably going to say the same thing of what I said. Yep, doesn't matter which one he attacks. Yep. There you go. That should get everybody in town on the lookout for Daryl. I doubt it in this town. People <laughs> I believe it. all the time in Skagans. Nobody even notices anymore. There have been other missing people? Plenty others. Even that researcher over at the campground had his buddy go missing just last week. Huh. Hmm. Do you know where I could... Researcher. He's got a trailer at the Wallows campground. Name's Alfred uh, something or other. Alfred. Have fun, Mr. FBI. Try looking for my brother while you're at it. Yeah, yeah, no need to be rude. It sounds like Isaac Davner's just one of many missing people around Scoggins. The cases might all be related. I'm heading to the Wallows to ask a researcher there about his missing friend. Uh, and look for Daryl's brother, of course. And that's all the time I have for now. So this has been Vise, and I'll see you guys next time when we go to the campground to check out this researcher named Alfred and about what's going on, or what he knows. Bye-bye for now.